Guys, I reviewed a bunch of e-bikes from GeForce brand and they're very good bikes, uh, averagely priced. So actually they have now uh, a very good deal. I think this is really priced well and I tested this e-bike and performs very well now having dual battery for that price. I think this is a very good deal. So guys, check it out. But they have a new electric scooter. It's called uh, the S10 model. So and we just got delivered today. Let's go and pick it up delivery, unbox it and test it out and see how these scooters perform compare their bikes. Let me show you inside the packaging. Very clean. Nicely packed. Wow, this is actually pretty well packed. Also got in the box this uh, GeForce uh, carbon fiber kind of like you know look uh, pouch, and here you have Allen wrench keys, some extra hardware, and wrenches, and uh, here I believe is a charger. So let's see how fast this thing is. This is two amps, 54.6 was 48 volts. Good charger. Design. We have a completely new redesigned stem with very interesting extension clamp allowing you to adjust the height of the handlebars. A different folding mechanism. I have not seen this type of construction on any other scooter. This pipe-like structure is very wide. Entire stem is super sturdy, no flex, no movement. The handlebars are 21.5 inches in width. We have this unique and quite unusual always-on light with two modes first mode that's always on and the second night mode that is quite bright i like this new console design very compact the screen has this rounded shape integrated into the stem full color lcd that looks great visible even in a bright daylight you can easily fold the stem but there's nothing here to hook it up to the deck or secure it for easy carry on or loading into a car or public transport the deck is 10 inches wide and 31 inches long. You cannot place your foot over the fender because it's soft and you'll, you know, kind of break. But I find it very comfortable to position your feet around the fender and in front right where it connects to the front stem. The lower part of the frame has this rectangular, unusual rounded shape covered in plastic. There's no place to grip in case if you want to lift the scooter, but because it's so light you can pick it up from any corner. The motor is 500 watts and peak power delivery advertised 800 watts. The battery is 48 volts, 12 amp hour capacity. Advertised up to 30 miles in range on a single charge and we'll test that. Controller, 48 volts, 18 amps discharge. They emphasize on their website six uh, type of protections on the BMS, on the battery, the short circuit protection, resistance to high temperature, overcharge, overcurrent, under voltage and over discharge protection, which is good to have, especially now, where there's so many issues with lithium batteries and fires happening in New York City. Top speed. We have three levels on the scooter. First speed, 10 miles an hour. Second speed, 15 miles an hour. And at third speed on a full charge battery, I was able to hit 20 to 21 miles an hour on flats. After you drop the battery to 75%, you get about 19 to 20 miles an hour. I weighed 230 pounds during the test, and if you're lighter, you'll get higher top speed and much stronger acceleration. Here in Central Park, I was going over this hill, and actually the scooter was doing pretty okay for my weight, and it was pretty cold outside. I was able to get between 13 and 17 miles an hour top speed going uphill. The frame, very light, no rattle, feels very sturdy, a completely different approach compared to a traditional frame scooter. It is not an off-road model, but has so much clearance due to the rear mounting above the rear axle. Suspension, we have a front hydraulic shock, about half of the inch travel, it is on a stiffer side, but this 10 inch tubeless tires dissipate vibration and bump so well, making it a very comfortable option for the city roads. Range. 
I did two tests, first test and a third speed and second test and a second speed. On the first uh, test results were about 12.5 miles in range, second test and second speed I covered 13, a little bit over 13 miles in range. Not sure why the difference is so small but I weighed 230 pounds, the temperature was about 40 degrees in Fahrenheit and these are the results that I got riding through the city, constantly braking and accelerating. So I assume if you ride on a bike path or somewhere outside the city without stopping you'll get uh, way more range to reach the advertised numbers on the website 30 miles in range most likely you have to be about 160 to 150 pounds and go in the first or second um, speed level acceleration on a slow side gradual lights and this is a cool part and very different and pretty cool so this is the first level just notification and it's uh, pretty bright and here's the top of the handlebars second level this is extremely bright it doesn't have too much throw but lights up at least uh, 25 maybe 30 meters in front of you and if you look here in the front it is extremely bright and uh, we have the back lights and here's the brake light uh, really bright and we're like here we have turning signals and they turn by itself off and here's the right one I wish the turning signals were just slightly brighter in the evening it is uh, you know seen much easier much better the tires are tubeless 10 by 2.5 inches and you can see here the tire has several protective layers which will eliminate getting the flats brakes are dual mechanical work as they should this scooter only weighs 33 pounds for its size and performance. This is pretty impressive. The scooter is priced at 849 US dollars and this is the GeForce Team vision of the perfect commuting electric scooter. A completely different design, view and approach compared to a traditional electric scooter with amazing features but also with its own quirks. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the S10 and how do you like it. I hope this review was informative. Smash that like button if it was. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.